So this is our giant front wall. Uh, it was the last wall that we put into place on our tiny house uh, wall framing because it is just so huge. These are six by six beams. They are treated lumber and they're still kind of wet. So they're super, super heavy. Um, they were really hard to cut through because they're so big. Uh, Kevin had to saw through each side. We'd flip it and he'd saw through the next side. And then there was still a piece in the center that was left. So we had to actually twist the end off, um, which was a little bit nuts. But uh, the reason they're so thick is because almost this whole wall is a door. I'm standing in a doorway right now. And uh, this is all that's gonna really hold that up because the door can't be load bearing. So these need to be pretty hefty and there's gonna be a pretty big header board above here once we build the, the walls that go inside this storage loft right above my head. So um, we wanted to have a French door on the front of our house. The tumbly plans call for, I think they call for you to make your own custom door and it's very small. And they also tell you that before you put your walls up, you have to put your tub in your house and your toilet and your cabinets and everything has to go inside the house before you close in the walls because the door's so small, you can't fit anything through it. And I said, uh, I don't think so, it's not gonna work for me. So uh, we wanted to have some French doors in the front here, but since our house is tiny, we don't want them to swing in, we wanted them to swing out, uh, which apparently is weird. Not a lot of people do that, I guess. So it was really a challenge for us to find a door. Also, you'll notice I'm pretty short. This door is pretty short. It's 76 and a half inches, this rough opening. Um, and we have 51 inches side to side here. So that's pretty small for a set of two French doors. Um, we were able to find, finally, someone to custom cut one down for us. Uh, we went to our local lumber store right up the road, uh, Old Monroe Lumber and Rental and they were able to find us a Thermatru set of French doors that are outswing French doors. And uh, they are just big enough to fit in this opening. They would cut them down to, I think, six foot four and three quarters. So we've got a quarter inch that uh, they, we may be able to get them to cut it off for us or we may have to sand into this beam a little bit to make it work. We'll kind of see how that works out. I think that a quarter inch, we can hack it. Um, but anyway, they are uh, just solid doors. I think they're fiberglass. And what we've actually have decided to do is um, on a lot of big houses, you'll see a front door, a regular size front door. And on either side, there are two fixed doors with windows in them, decorative windows. Those are called side lights. So we ordered these set of doors that are only about two feet each and a set of side lights that we're going to put into the doors so that we can have windows on our French doors. Uh, apparently when you make a door that small, they can't put glass in it, or I don't know, maybe they can, but it's kind of a weird pattern or really expensive, or I don't know, something. Anyway, it was a problem. We ordered some side lights, we're gonna put it in. It's gonna be really pretty, I think. They're like, uh, go like three quarters of the way down the door. It's gonna be cool. So anyway, that's coming and it'll fit right in here. So uh, I think that's all I have to talk about for now. Oh, if you're wondering what this weird blue thing is over here, um, it is a giant tarp that we put over our house at night. Uh, we found this 30 by 50 foot tarp at uh, Lowe's and that will actually go, once we get the uh, loft and everything up there, it'll go over the whole house and cover it. So if it rains before we get the roof on or the siding finished or whatever, we won't have to worry about anything getting ruined or um, we can leave stuff in here and don't need to worry about it getting rained on. So at night, we actually pull that whole thing up over the house just to protect everything. And uh, so I think that's it.